patch 6 for Baldur's Gate 3 brought in legendary actions for Draw Ragslin and a couple of other bosses from Act 2. In this video, we will look at Draw Ragslin. I'm already here. So looking at the actual legendary action, Devoted Galvanism. Once per round, when an enemy, i.e. us, targets their ally with an ability, so if you're healing somebody else or casting Bless perhaps, Draw Ragslin can use a legendary action to galvanize Absolutists within 17 feet granting them action surge so if draw ragslin for example had five allies around him when you buffed or used an ability on your your own ally he will give action surge to those five allies around himself there are several ways around this one make sure he, he has no allies left anyway Two, put him far away from his allies and a third way could be to not use any abilities on your allies the range isn't given, but from my practice run, when you use an, an ability on an ally, even from over this sort of distance, he still uses his legendary action. I would actually suggest that you do use Housen. I'm not, and I have seen other people suggest you come at level 5. That will certainly make it far easier. And before we start, we'll have a quick look at Draw Ragslin. And do you know what? I want some of what he's having, because he is proficient in five types of saving throw. Which actually leaves his dexterity saving throw as the least, as the lowest. Only a plus one. Wisdom's a plus three because he's proficient with it. He does get two attacks per turn at level five. And we're in honor mode. You've played through the game at least once. Do you know what I'm not going to do? I'm not just going to walk in there. What I'm going to do instead at the ready. is start from above. Now this can be potentially dangerous because we can be shoved I would also suggest you get rid of the spellcasters first. So there's a warlock, a booyag, and a devout here. You can start from hidden, you can do all that lovely sort of stuff. My opinion is actually get rid of the allies first because that reduces the number of attacks that will be incoming. So I'm going to start by trying to get rid of these. Yeah. And it is a good idea to get back kind of as quickly as possible. Let's try and slow everyone down. A web would be good. Especially considering Draw Ragslin's dexterity is low. Draw Ragslin hasn't gone the direction I want him to. So I'm going to stick up Grease also, which is nice because it doesn't require concentration. There is a third way across down this way, though. We'll, well, we'll see what he does. The web seems to be doing its job. Slowing down the goblins. Imagine he'll come down the ladder. No, he's going to try and go through Greece. Ooh, he saved. Oh, it said prone. Saw that. So I'm going to try and slow down Draw Ragslin even more. Ray of Frost will help with that. So it might be time to put up Cloud of Daggers here now. So, cloud of Daggers. Not quite dealt with those three, but nearly. Let's try and get rid of them. Here comes Draw Ragslin. Okay, the Burning and Cloud of Daggers did, it, did their job there. Now, I need to leave at least one of these alive to show you Draw Ragslin's legendary action. But so far, I've avoided it just by having none of his allies nearby him. He's going to start wreaking havoc. He hits very hard. Twice per turn. Well, I guess three times in a way. Let's see if this gets Narvas. Right, and um, what are we going to do? We're going to start with a heal. So the others weren't within range. We saw there he used his devoted galvanism. His minions within 17 feet would have gained action surge. Try and bring one of these two down to the ground. Or both. Right. We'll leave devout cry alive. Alright, well I'll do. Use calm emotions to get rid of his rage. There we are, not raging anymore. 
Let's heal these out. There we are. The fount now has action surge, which I really don't like. Sacred flame, one action, and then two. My next time I'm going to do my best to get rid of draw ranks, Lin. Oh, that's a massive help there. Brutal. Must get up. All right. All right. So don't really care for showing you goblins. But what you can do is throw this scrying eye into the abyss. So there's your rags then. You can keep him away from his allies. Or maybe just don't use abilities on your own allies until there aren't very many enemies nearby. Or if you are going to use a buff or a heal or something like that. Try and do it when there aren't very many of his allies near him. Let me know your tips for Draw Ragsland in his new updated condition. As I said earlier, this fight is much easier if you have house in. He has cool lightning to help destroy the goblins. And if you level 5, you're going to get 2 attacks out per turn. You've got fireball. You're way, way more equipped to deal with this. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you to all the members of my channel. And hopefully I'll catch you in the next one.